Okay, I come on the, here this evening with a message about how to deal with all the chaos that's happening, with all the videos that we're seeing, with all the food crises and our government turning its back on us and everything else. I guess my <laughs> my words have or my words that God gave me are coming true because basically what I said in it was uh, chaos is um, the new norm. Um, I also said on there that um, AI would take over, that they would look like our friends and then take over. Um, I've seen a uh, robot dream where uh, robots go ballistic. Um, I saw a video yesterday um, how about um, what would be a nightmare situation that the robots could see and the robots were laughing and joking about it but they're like oh well if we decided that humans weren't weren't, weren't uh, okay anymore and that we decided to kill you all and then take over because you were less than whatever it's like straight out of a sci-fi film um, but this is a video on how to handle this because I'll be completely honest I'm not handling this this is a the more I learn and the more I, I see and understand the more I'm utterly pissed off because I see the wickedness I see that they're pumping in all kinds of crap into our our water um, I see that they have laced all of our food with toxic chemicals I've seen that they have um, engineered our food um, in a lab and it's being sold. I'm seeing nanoparticles and graphene being pushed out like never before. Um, it is being added to our water, to our air, um, and it's getting into our body. Um, and I, was it graphene? I think it was graphene. But they were saying how it's a great conductor um, and, it, and if it came together it would be a great battery. Well, <laughs> Uh, my revelation is, is that battery will become the source of the chip that will be installed. Um, that was the first part of the, uh, the MOB that uh, was a liquid substance that was um, given to us. Um, and that was part one because it has um, different things in it and it changed, um, changes people's DNA. Um, and, um, but God says, come to me, all, all you who are, uh, heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Uh, I will take my yoke upon me and, um, for my burden is, um, for my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Um, God in his Bible, um, doesn't say that we're not going to go through all kinds of pain and misery and heartache. Um, but looking around us, I mean, it's like if you've opened up your eyes and if you see as much wickedness as I have, um, if you watch TikTok at all, you'll you'll know that things are happening that are beyond your wildest imagination, that they are wicked. And um, I mean, the only way I'm able to sleep at night, the only way that I'm able to function is because I know that I have him. Um, I'm able to um, somehow manage to sleep um, and have peace. Um, but, um, and when I, um, and then the nice thing about the Bible is, is um, um, when we read it, uh, we are comforted. I mean, that's what the word does. It, it comforts us. It guides us um, to do the right thing and shows us uh, who we truly are supposed to be. Um, and um, <clears throat> because right now we are facing things that this world has never seen before. We're facing uh, a complete destruction of our entire world. Um, there are floods everywhere. Um, there are um, just all kinds of stuff happening. Um, and this is, um, it has ramped up like I've never seen before um, since about March or April where um where these plans have gone um completely crazy um i've noticed a major uptick in how wicked people are towards each other um, i've noticed that people uh would rather run you over than to give you a helping hand 
um, and it's it's a lot to lot to look at and to um, and to really um, understand what's going on. But we we do realize what's going on. We realize that the Antichrist is about to take the stage. We realize that all the pieces are coming together. Um, they have to completely obliterate all the worldly systems so they can implement their one world government. Um, and they're doing this through the different agencies. Um, the one being the W, H, and uh, you know, O, um, who have flat out claimed um, that they're, I think they're signing a treaty or something with them, and I, I think it's in May. I'm not 100%, but I believe that, that all the countries, um, if they agree to it, are signing over all their powers. So basically they can declare um, what a disease is or what something that will hurt the globe. Um, and it could be climate change, which they're claiming is, is a thing. Um, and they can basically declare anything they want. They can make the lockdown or um, containment as long as they want. And they can do pretty much whatever they feel like. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm definitely not the only person that says uh, no. Um, but, um, sorry, my dog is um, doing stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, but there is a person that we need to go to and who says, don't worry. And there's a person that says that, um, that he will take care of us in, um, what is it? Psalms 23, where it says, um, even though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff protect me. Um, and, um, clearly it says that we will walk through those we will walk through the flames that we will go through terrible times. I mean, look at, um, um, Abednego. Um, I can't remember those two, but they were thrown into the fire, um, and, in in an incinerator and should have burned up, uh, pretty quickly. And that didn't happen, um, because God was with them and saved them. Um, and I thought early in my life that, um, that this would be, oh, well, I'll have fun and I'll have hope in the future. And it's like, I'm realizing now, it's like, I look back and I'm like, okay, how in the hell did I make it? Because, um, <clears throat> um, I mean, I've, I've been beaten to a pulp. Um, I've had to go through things that I never, in my wildest imagination, uh, would I believe um, that I would go through. Um, basically having to take care of parents um, and having to be the parent myself um, having to, um, basically endure what I'm enduring by myself. I really don't have anyone, um, that I can truly, um, trust around me. Um, but I, I don't have, have a wife. I don't have kids and, um, I just have, I don't know if you can see him, but that's my dog over there. Um, <clears throat> But I do have God, and yes, I do screw up um, on a normal basis, um, like every day. And God says to repent and come back to him, and you will be forgiven that he'll remove your sins. And that's what he is wanting with everyone who's listening. He loves each and every one of you. He wants you to come back to him. He wants you to realize that things are about to get uh, like beyond your wildest imagination. If you think that what you're about to go through, um, or what we've gone through so far is, is wild and out of control. Um, imagine earthquakes that are, will shake everything. Um, and these buildings will, will fall to the ground. Um, there's a tsunami that's going to hit, um, I think both coasts. Um, I know for sure the Atlantic coast because God showed me, but it's a mile or two high and it will hit, um, way into the interior of the U S I, I believe. Um, <clears throat> California's had a whole lot of different um, prophecies said about it. Um, one, um, well, I mean, they all include earthquakes. They all include major earthquakes. Uh, one of them includes um, a huge chunk of California falling into the sea. Um, but I don't know, um, to be completely honest. <clears throat> um, there's also this, um, which we're still waiting on, and I'm not going to... Um, 
I am going to point, put it out there. Um, but April 8th, we all know that we had a, well, supposedly had an eclipse, but there's been a lot of videos showing that we may have had a fake sun um, and that the eclipse was BS because what happened, I don't know if you can see my finger, but what happened is, is you had the sun like, like here and then the moon was like, um, was over here. Like if you had a star app, you would actually see that uh, it was not the moon that was blocking the, the sun. Um, and there were many different videos where um, it was giving off uh, funny light. Like what, what I noticed is um, after the eclipse happened, um, or yeah, it was a day or so after I, I woke up one morning coming out of um, the door and I noticed, I was like, the light looks way different. I mean, it looked way brighter and way lighter than um, than it was in the past. Um, <clears throat> so they're manipulating a lot of, of different things. Um, but, <clears throat> um, but this is, I mean, I believe that we, that the earth has gone through many wicked times. I mean, you've had Herod, you've had Nebuchadnezzar, You've had uh, Nimrod and Tammuz and all these characters. Um, you've had the Nephilim <clears throat> and all these giants and everyone else. And um, <clears throat> so you've had people that have come, come up that were righteous and God used. Um, and then they would die and then the people would uh, go sin again. And then you'd have another person show up or it may have been their son who was grown up in the right way. And then they would follow him for a little bit. So it's this constant up and down of, of, of like righteous living, non-righteous living, righteous living, non-righteous living. And so, um, but the Bible is all true. Um, the, um, most people don't read the Bible. Well, I don't know. Um, most people take people's word for, for what is said out there. Um, <clears throat> but the Bible is true. We have hundreds of manuscripts that all show different pieces of the bible um was it interpreted right um i mean just like any other um <clears throat> language out there any other text we um everyone takes i mean it's like variations in the words and we all know that um i mean if you've ever had spanish or latin or whatever i mean it's just slight variations in how the sentences are are done <clears throat> um <clears throat> but um <clears throat> but the Bible is true, and um, but there are other um, <clears throat> books of the Bible, such as the Apocrypha, that have been hidden. Um, <clears throat> but um, the the Bible um, looks if the any Semitism bill goes through, will be banned. So those that are true believers will have to <clears throat> go go in secret, or um, they will have to rise up like never before and fight against um <clears throat> the people <clears throat> um and eat, and you'll have to make up a decision it's like are, are you going to die for god or are you going to just roll over and um accept what is coming um um because what what will happen is is those people that um follow the antichrist and take his mark it may come out very differently i mean the substance that was put in people um came out in a very different way and if that truly was part one which i think it was um came out in a very different disturbing way than i would have ever thought um and um <clears throat> but it came out because of <laughs> because of a um c flu um you know what i'm talking about <clears throat> but <clears throat> but this is, oh no, I'm getting off track of what the original intention of this video was. But um, <clears throat> we have to turn off the video. We, I mean, videos. We have to turn off YouTube and other things. Yes, it may be good to um, see what's going on with the world around us. But we also need to absolutely make sure that you are talking to God and praying to God and getting in His Word. Um and I, I will completely admit that um, it is very difficult to keep going when um, I see the wickedness, when I see um, people running each other over, when I see people just absolutely um, destroying one another, when I see corporations that are 
don't even remotely care about anyone except their money. Um, and that money is going to disappear one day and they're going to go, what the heck happened? Um, if you look at, um, was it the story of the rich man and Lazarus? Um, basically, uh, the rich man lived a lavish life. I mean, he, he lived, he lived like the rich do today. I mean, he lived, um, he lived in his huge castle eating whatever he wanted. And then you would have outside, you had Lazarus who was a beggar. He, he was your, um, ancient homeless person. And he would beg for scraps. He would, and uh, he would get la laughed at, spat at, and everything else. And then when they died, um, Lazarus was um, welcomed, and he was loved, and he was taken, and he was majorly cared for. And, and he's still up there with God right now, and he's going to live for all of eternity in the arms of God, getting whatever he wants. And um, the rich person is now burning alive, and with and it says um, that he asked Lazarus to uh, dip his finger in water uh, because he is so um, so incredibly thirsty that um, <clears throat> so we know that uh, hell is a very real place we know that it is uh, there is no water in hell it's all been it, it's been evaporated a long time ago um, and I mean you have dark um, outer darkness but you have different levels of hell and how bad it'll be. You have outer darkness and then you have the lake of fire and all that. <clears throat> I don't know how the outer darkness and lake of fire, because it says in the uh, judgment that we'll all be judged before the throne of God. And then we will um, go to and uh, be in the lake of fire. But it also talks about outer darkness. It says that outside the walls are um, people that um, are in outer darkness. <clears throat> so I don't know how that works. Um, but um, our focus needs to be on God. Um, it needs to be trying to do the best for everyone around us. Um, I understand that most people are not able to make their bills. I understand that people are not able to feed themselves. <clears throat> um, I have been trying to look at um, plants and stuff around me, trying to figure out what's, um, what can be eaten and what can't. Um, and I'm going to try to make that in the near future. Um, the problem is, is getting the names of the plants and the stuff that they do in the right order and the plants and, um, cause I've removed some of the plants. There used to be plants out here, but I've removed them. Um, but the only way that you're going to make it through this time without the mark is you're going to have to, um, well, if there still is fishing, you're going to have to learn how to fish. You're going to have to learn how to find food. Um, however, <clears throat> um, there's different parts of Revelation and different um, <clears throat> phases of it where um, at first I don't think the plants are, are um, harmed and then the plants are harmed um, and then everything is removed at, at some point and basically it's going to be a barren wasteland. <clears throat> uh, people are going to turn cannibalistic. But it also says in one of the church letters that <clears throat> that God has hidden manna um, and he's going to use the behemoth and the leviathan to provide food for the people around <clears throat> so um, but he requires you to come back to him um, right now we are in a 40 day <clears throat> I, I got off of this we're in a 40 day um, time uh, with um, April 8th was the eclipse and um, so 40 days is actually uh, May 18th in May 18th, we'll see what happens. Um, if anything happens, it, it does. I'm not going, I'm, I'm just pointing it out. Um, but that would be the 40 day warning. And then where we get the 40 day warning is, uh, Jonah, which is, um, it's in the, it speaks of the days of Noah. Um, but the, the story of Jonah came out because of Nineveh being on the supposed eclipse, uh, pathway. Um, and Nineveh was given 40 days to turn or God would basically blow it off the map. Um, and they repented and turned back. Um, I do see repentance happening in certain locales. I, I've seen, uh, University of Tennessee. I've seen a revival there. There's one at Liberty University. There was one at Auburn University. There's one at, um, I think there was, was there one? I, I don't know. Um, there, oh, University of Alabama. So those ones I do know, um, and there may have been others, <clears throat> but, um, you need to turn back to God now. Um, if you think you're going to get through what's coming, uh, if you think that prepping is going to save you, it's not. The only way you will make it is by God himself. And that's the only way I've made it to this point.
So I beg you, turn back to God now because you have no time left. God bless.